In today's video, uh, what I'm going to show you is how to produce a truth table from a logic circuit. Okay, so here is my logic circuit, and as you can see, it has uh, three inputs. So input A, input B, and input C. And I need to produce a truth table for that. So I'm going to do that uh, down the bottom here, and I'm just going to very gently, and I'm not very good at drawing. Okay, so I'm going to put in three columns to start with. So I'm going to have column A, column B, and column C. And we'll, we'll leave room because we're going to add some more columns all right, later on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to write down all the different possible combinations of A, B, and C. Now, uh, obviously, A, B, and C are switches, so they can either be on or off. Now, when you've got three switches together, all right, there are eight possible combinations, all right, eight possible combinations. So uh, I'm going to show you how I remember those. So the way I remember it is I always put four zeros to start with in, in uh, column A, and then I put four ones. Okay, and then uh, it's two zeros and then two ones in column B. So it's always the pattern I remember. So it's two and two. Uh, and then for column C, it's just alternate. So it's uh, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. So um, that always helps me remember four, two, and one. Okay. Um, all right, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come back to my logic circuit here and I'm going to add some more letters. So I've got A, B, and I've got to work out what's going to happen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is D because I want to work out what happens at D. I want to work out what's going to be output from uh, here when we put B and C into here. So I'm going to call this E, all right, and then eventually I'm going to work out what X is, okay? So uh, I'm going to add an extra column, and this one is going to be for D. Try and do this, try and do this as neatly as possible. Okay, so first of all, what I've got to do, so if we look at this, this is the symbol for an OR gate, okay? So let's very quickly, and I always recommend you do this in the exam, on some scrap paper, we're on the paper, all right, is uh, write out the truth table for an OR gate to remind yourself how to do it. Okay, so it's uh, zero, zero, it's going to be a zero, zero, one is going to be a one, one and zero is going to be a one, and one and one is going to be a one. Okay, so that's the uh, the truth table for an OR gate. So let's do D. So here uh, we've got A and B going into D. So A and B, that's going to be a zero. All right, we've got zero, zero, A and B, so that's going to be a zero. We've got zero, one, that's going to be a one. We've got zero, one, that's going to be a one. We've got one, zero, that's going to be a one. One, zero, that's going to be a one. One, one, that's going to be a one. And one, one, that's going to be a one. Okay, so we've worked out the output uh, if we put A and B through an OR gate. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to do E. So we're going to do exactly the same thing because it's an OR gate again, but this time we're going to do it with B and C. So B and C, so we've got zero, zero, that's going to be a zero. We've got zero, one, that's going to be a one. We've got one, zero, that's going to be a one. We've got one, one, that's going to be a one. We've got zero, zero, that's going to be a zero. We've got zero, one, that's going to be a one. We've got one, zero, that's going to be a one. We've got one, one, that's going to be a one. Okay, so um, we've done the, uh, the outputs at point D and the output at point E. All right, so finally, uh, we just do X, all right? So X is the result of uh, point D and point E, but through an AND gate. Okay, so again, let's draw the truth table for an AND gate, just again, just to make sure you remember how to do it. And, uh, helpful in the uh, in the exam to remind yourself. Okay, so you don't want to make a mistake uh, just by getting the truth, by not writing down the truth table. So, zero, zero, that's going to be a zero. Okay, zero, one, that's going to be a zero. Uh, one and zero, that's going to be a zero. And one and one, well, that's the only time it's on. Okay, so, Let's do that then for X. So we're looking at D and E this time. Columns D and E. So we've got D and E, which is 0, 0. That's going to be a 0. All right, we've got 0, 1. That's going to be a 0. We've got 1, 1, so that's going to be on. We've got another 1, 1, so that's going to be on. 
We've got a 1 0, that's going to be off. Okay, we've got a 1 1, that's going to be on. We've got a 1 1, that's going to be on. And then we've got a 1 1, so that's going to be on. Alright, and that's it, we are done. Uh, and we have produced a logic, uh, a, a truth table uh, for this logic circuit. Okay, uh, have a go yourself. Good luck.